Hi, I'm Bruce Carlson, Missions Coordinator for the Diocese of Joliet. I'd like to share with you on this World Mission Sunday a testimonial of George and Michelle about their mission trip to the Barangan Philippines this last January. When the video is over, I'll be back with an update on what we're doing now and what we plan on doing in the future. My name is George Lopez. I'm from Morris, Illinois, and I am on the construction team for the mission trip. I'm Michelle Lopez. I'm on the outreach team here. We are in the hotel lobby on the fifth floor in Barangan, Eastern Samara, Philippines. You build a relationship with the people here. I think that's one of the advantages to the way that uh, partnership and mission works. We come to the same place over and over again. And every time I came home, I told her more and more about how I loved it. So I, uh, I wanted her to come. Our son joined the Army, so uh, there was nobody home, so I was able to come. And I was really looking forward to it. I was nervous about the, uh, the travel and that, but it wasn't bad. I have truly enjoyed myself. It's been a great experience. Um, and giving you do receive, and I have received so much from the little giving that I have done. When we go out to the different barrios and, and we feed the children and play games with them, uh, seeing them, they're, they're so happy to see us and the joy that they have with what little they have. It's amazing to me to see them. I, we have so much and sometimes I wonder if what we have complicates things for us. The, the peace that they have and the joy is, uh, it's contagious. They're so appreciative and, and, and smiling and uh, after they eat we will sing more songs with them. We give them the treats. When we leave, they're sad to see us go and they're hugging us and waving bye and, and then uh, once we're all loaded up and ready to go, they're chasing the van out of the school and waving right behind us and uh, trying to catch up with the van. This mission trip our construction team is working on one of the houses that is has been donated to the Oiko Sisters. It was devastated by the most recent typhoon. There was damage, water damage, which when they started to remove that, they found termite damage. So they've basically gutted the inside of the building. And what we're doing from there is we are going to redo the entire inside, which was a lot of deconstruction, and now we are rebuilding it with limited supplies, but it's, it's, it's fun, it's fantastic, and we're building block walls. There's a lot of mixing of cements. We are redoing electrical systems. Now, I'm not doing all of that personally, there are local workers that we are assisting, which I think is, is something that's key. We are not running this show. We are not the ones in charge of the construction itself. We're extra hands, we're extra feet. We do whatever needs to be done. But if we have any particular construction skills, they, they let us use those, they let us utilize them. And if there's something that we see, we don't say, do it this way. We ask them if there's another way that could be done, and we share ideas that way. We're, we're helping build something. I can see it progressing. I can see it happening right in front of me every day. In this unique time of COVID-19, we are currently gathering medical supplies to send to our mission partners. In the future, we'd like to invite people to come with us on mission and have them join us. We're also looking for funding that can help us supply different needs to our mission sites. Thanks for joining us on this World Mission Sunday. Hope to see you on mission soon.